I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the Sinking Fund. Um, this would be week two of the March challenge that I am doing for myself and that I hope you guys have started doing it as well. If you haven't, it is still okay to start now. So what I'm doing is I am stuffing my sinking envelope. So I got cash from the bank um, yesterday at payday. And what I'm going to do now is I got all of my envelopes. They are not fancy. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them. You can get basic envelopes and write what they are on them. So the first one I have is my clothes envelope. And I need to contribute 23 more dollars. So how I did it, um, I figured out that I'm saving 114 to sinking funds every week. And so what I did was I wrote down how many ones I want, how many tens, how many twenties. And so that when I'm doing my cash envelopes on Fridays, that I'm also adding in that now and getting the appropriate bills that I need. So I'm going to do 20 and 3 for clothing, which is going to put me now at $46. So I'll write that on there. And then for Christmas, I am supposed to be doing $32. So 10 or 20, 30, 1, 2. So now for Christmas, I have $64 saved. Doesn't seem like a lot now. Back to school is my next envelope at $26. So again, this is going to be a 19-week um, sinking fund. So I will stop doing this on July 15th. So $26 is what I'm contributing to back to school night. Or back to school clothes. One, two, three, four. So now I will have $52 in my back to school envelope. For the kids' birthdays, um, they're not until October and December, so I'm only going to do $10 a week until then. So now I have $20. And then summertime, so that's just team for any activities that we might have, going to the local water park, the fair that comes to town, just trying to get a heads up on those things. Um, so this time I'm doing $23 a week. And I'm going to stop doing that. I think I wrote down like June 5th. So it's not going to be ongoing forever. Um, so $23 is what I'm doing for that. So now I have $46 for a summer fund. And then around the house. So we're trying to make our own patio furniture, trying to do some new plants in the yard. And so I decided to do 150 just for around the house since that's going to be coming up soon. We're also going to be doing a vegetable garden. So I'm doing 150 for that. One, one fifty. So out of yesterday's paycheck, we were able to save 464 dollars. So 150 went to our yard, 114 went to our sinking funds, and then I just did 200 to our general savings sinking fund account that um, we are doing for vacation and for my school. So I made some sheets of some things that I can fill out at the end of every month because you can't get better at budgeting unless you look back to your previous month. You always have to analyze where your money went last month to make sure if you were on the course you think you're on or if you need to continue to make adjustments. So one of the forms that I made was just a simple expense tracker. So every week I'm going to fill in all of the expenses that we did. And then by the end of the month, then I'm going to have a month in category total. So I'll take pictures and put them on my story and do a link. Um, just super simple. And it gives me what our income was this month, what our expenses were this month, what we saved this month, and then I have versus last month, just so we can see how um, we did. And then as far as categories, I have groceries, gas, miscellaneous, vehicles, um, Drew's money, clothing, entertainment, housing, utilities, beauty, health, and holiday slash birthday. Um, and then I also have a section, goals for next month, because that's something that you should talk about when you do your budget meetings, and things to approve upon. So you're probably not going to have a perfect budget, so you need to come to the realization that there's always something you can work on. Another one I did was saving tracker, so just how much we've been saving in each savings account, because we have three different banks that we save with. Um, so yeah, that's how we are spending our quarantine day inside is 
budgeting, cooking, and watching TV. So, hope you guys are having a good day.